to my channel everyone this is Donnie and you're watching diamond painting by Donnie uh, today is a video with all sorts of different things in it since I haven't been doing my live videos showing um, the packages that I'm sending out um, I no longer have a scheduled Avenue to do my birthday shout out so I'm gonna do um, the birthday shout outs in this video for this upcoming week I'm going to try to do um, I'm gonna try to do once a week um, an update video so that I can do my shout outs in that video because some of the unboxings that I do I don't always post right away and I never know when they're gonna go up and that just doesn't make sense to me to um, do birthday shout outs and then not post the video right away so this video I will have birthday shout outs I'm going I have a package here to unbox that came um, to the uh, to my post office box from Julia and let's see yeah Julia thought I had it right I have some new pens to show you for the shop and um, just some other things that are that's going on in my life that I wanted to talk to you about and I will do that while I work on my diamond painting that you can see I have set up right here and what else did I have oh yeah I have a special announcement you might want to stick around for because I'm not sure at what point of this video I will be doing that announcement so we will start off with opening this so thank you very much to Julia for sending this to me all the way from Florida and I have received other packages with some um, baggies that people wanted to make sure they got some use out of instead of throwing them away because I I'll reuse those baggies to um, pack up the my cover minders in just because I do like to recycle as much as possible so thank you to those that sent those to me and I have been getting envelopes of bling so that I can use those to decorate the tweezers that people purchase in the shop. The upgrade for decorating the tweezers is no additional cost. It's just something I like to do. And I do give you the option to have them decorated with gems or gemified, as I like to say, uh, or not. All right, says Drill Pin Frenzy Donnie on here. So it looks like, see, this, this is exactly what I was referring to these bags right here they are the perfect size um, I try to only use them if they aren't damaged with holes in them so if you just don't want to throw these bags away and you have no use for them you are more than welcome to send them to me and I will reuse them and if you order cover minders and they come in a bag that looks like it's used please know that I'm just trying to help the environment by reusing bags that you know I can use and if someone wants to send them I will be more than happy to use them thank you very much Julia for the baggies and she has sent me several multi-placer tips that is so awesome thank you and we have some pens we reuse these tips so that is very awesome because sometimes it takes several tries to get a tip on just right to the pins that we make so if you have an overabundance of pins even if you have wax in them oh, most of the time we check to make sure there's wax and we'll clean it out before sending it out to somebody um, we be more than happy to reuse them um, to save on shipping costs if you'd like you can just pull this tip part with the whole plastic piece out of the pen and I'll show you just like that and you can just send this piece itself uh, these if I were making like clay pens then I would use these but we don't so we have an overabundance of the tubes and it, it will just be extra shipping for those of you who do want to send them um, I do appreciate it 
Um, but it does take a little bit of work to pop them off. So if you if you're not able to, or you just don't have the time to, and you just want to toss them in the mail, no no problem. I appreciate anything and everything that's that people donate to the shop. Thank you very much, Julia. And then there's a whole big bag of pinks. She separated them by color. And then we have some blue. Look like they're from the from Diamond Art Club. And then we have some squishies, which I give away squishies when we sell um, multi-placers. I will give away a squishy in an order so that we have enough to go around. And then she sent me a bunch of tweezers. Oh my goodness. Now, I don't know what to do with the silver ones. I might try and find... Um, maybe a nail salon that might want them because this is a lot and these do get heavy i can use the black ones though and those are the ones that i i will gemify plus the ones that i specialty colors that i have in the shop as well so it, i don't just carry blacks but thank you so much julia this is just wonderful especially since it's really hard to get things shipped to me right now from china to restock certain items that was just a blessing that you sent these thank you so much and the tips very good I appreciate that and the single tips and the multi tips and the squishies and the baggies everything is just awesome thank you so much Julia I greatly appreciate the time you took to go send this to the post office and to bag this up for me and you're donation is greatly appreciated and we will use every single thing that is in this box and thank you again all right so let's do some birthday shout outs let's see where i left off i left off i think i was already into feb we were already into february yes let's see We were, well, I'm not too far behind. Um, on February 25th, my best friend Karen turned 48. So if you do ever happen to ever watch my videos, Karen, happy birthday. She's nine months older than me, and we, we basically say we could have been sisters, you know, back-to-back, -back, you know, pregnancies. But, um, yeah, well, we're about eight and a half months, but still. We've known each other since 1980, and that's, you know, 40 years, guys, 40 years. How many people can say they are still friends with somebody from 40 years ago? Yeah, it's been hard keeping in touch at times, but once once Facebook came around, it was a lot easier. So also on the 25th, there, um, Patty or booty scoots. I'm not sure which one she goes by. But happy birthday, Patty. And Sarah Orens turned 63. So happy birthday to the both of you from February 25th, as well as my best friend, Karen, the three of you share a birthday. So that is so wonderful. Um, then we have on the 27th of February is David Witt. He turned 33. Well, happy birthday, David. Enjoy those 30s because they do go fast and then you don't look back because it seems like time goes by so much faster after 40. So you've got a ways to go. But happy birthday, David. I hope you had a great birthday. And that's it, actually. I, I'm actually caught up. But what I was doing was doing shout outs for the coming week. So since, well, I'm, I'm filming this on Sunday. It's going to go up Monday, so I will go ahead and do the birthdays for this coming week. Now, if you want me to do a shout out for your birthday here on YouTube, go over to the community tab and my second post down as of today has the birthday shout out um, post where you can enter your, put your birthday there. That way I'll always know where to find it and it's best if we keep it there or on my Facebook post in my group. It is post, it is um, pinned to the top of the page. So it'll be the first thing you say, see when you go to the group uh, for the love of diamond painting with Donnie and Teslin. There is a link in the description box down below here. 
showing you where a link to where to get to my group so that you can leave it there or in the community tab here on YouTube. So I do check those each time, each video before I um, do the shout outs, I will go and check those posts to add any new ones. And if your birthday was in within the last couple of weeks and I missed it because you didn't know to add your birthday before then, I do go back a week or two to check to see if I missed anybody because they were um, a little late in telling me it was their birthday. I will go ahead and go ahead. I will still go ahead and give you a shout out. So please, even if your birthday has passed, leave your birthday if you want to hear it shouted out, and I'd be more than happy to do that for you. So tomorrow is Mary Ward's birthday. She's been one of my followers for a very long time. Happy birthday, Mary Ward, and I hope you have a great day. And Tuesday, Eva Wilson turns 68. Happy birthday, Eva. And on Wednesday, there's a lot of birthdays this week, Amanda Saunders turns 20. Wow, I think that is my youngest um, viewer that I know of their age. Um, that has at least given me their birthday. Um, I had, saw another one that was 25 and I was thinking that was the youngest one. And I just realized Amanda here is even younger than that. Well, happy birthday, Amanda. I hope you have a fabulous birthday and it's awesome to see some of the younger people, um, enjoying diamond painting as well. And last but not least, we have Beck Dawson. Her birthday is on Friday, March 6th. So happy birthday, Beck. I hope you have a wonderful birthday. So to everybody that I shouted out to, again, have a happy birthday. And I hope you see this video so you can hear that you, your birthday was shouted out. So I will mark off that I called out your guys' birthdays, um, unless, you know, I accidentally forget to mark it off, then you'll hear me shouting out your birthday again. But, you know, more the merrier. Birthday announcements don't have to be limited. Okay, so uh, I'm just trying to mark off the things so I don't forget to let you know everything that is going on. Now, we do have some new pens. Um, at this very point, I don't have this one listed, but I plan to list it before the night is over. And, we, and it comes in two colors. And this is what it looks like. It's a little thicker than the normal pink pen. It's actually quite a bit thicker. Let me get one to compare. Let me get one out of the box that Julia just sent. I'll grab a blue one. Okay, so here is the size of your typical drill pen. So this is actually quite a bit thicker. And that makes for a lot more comfort, especially for people like me who have carpal tunnel, arthritis. I have arthritis in my thumbs, and sometimes it gets tiring. But what's special about this pen is, you can see it's got a joint. Well, not that kind of a joint, but it's jointed. And you can bend it upward when you're not using it as a drill pen. And I don't have a phone with me, but um, the pictures show this is actually a phone stand. Um, let me grab my husband's phone and I will show you how it works with his. All right, I borrowed Jim's phone and he's got a case on it, so it's still kind of thick. And this thing, that's the great thing about this stand is it will still hold, it will still hold a phone with a stand on it. And it's pretty sturdy. I mean... For, for something that's just a pen, you would think, oh, you couldn't do much with it, but it is a very sturdy phone holder, and it's pretty wide, so you can get a pretty thick, thick phone on here. I mean, these phones are thin without the case, and there's, it's still pretty thin with this on there. You can see how much room there is still, so... Yeah, you could probably even fit a tablet. I'll try my tablet here next. Let me give Jim his phone back. 
And you should buy two of them. That way you can watch Donnie's video on one, and then you can diamond paint with the other one. <laughs> you had to put it that. That's a good idea, right? Okay, so here is my iPad. Let's see. No, it won't do the iPad. This is the big size. This is a full-size iPad. But it will hold it going... <laughs> If you're careful, you can probably get it to work going horizontal, not vertical though. And yes, you can see I'm wearing my Sparkle Wherever You Go t-shirt. Um, the iPad mini, we have one of those too, but it's in a case. I'm not sure if it'll fit on here with the case, but I'm sure since this holds uh, going uh vertical I'm sure that the iPad mini will fit no problem let me move that back all right so I noticed there's wax in this pen so we'll have to change that out we do have these um, I think these are glued in yeah but I will fix that we have it in black and blue now that's not all this pen does okay you can see this plastic clip right here Okay, so I'm going to make it so anybody who purchases this pen, I will put it in the description box. This point of this video to show you that this is removable. And if you want this part to work, you need to remove this, but it is meant to save the battery that is inside here. You just pull it off like that and you turn it on and you've got a flashlight. So... If you're having a hard time seeing I mean it's not like the flashlight the flashlight pens we have but you can always use it like this now that doesn't illuminate what you're drilling but it's cool and if you want to just these pens are not meant to just like the light the bright lights pens they're not meant to be on all the time that will run your battery down very quickly they are meant for spot checks like, if you just cannot tell what a symbol is because you just don't have enough light, even with your light pad, you turn on your light and you check it. It's not meant to be on the whole time you diamond paint. And I'm going to, I don't, I, I'm going to just say that you cannot replace the batteries in these either because I don't see a way to get to the battery um, unless you pull this, pop this part off and... In fact, let me do that real quick. No, I'm ruining my nail polish. <laughs> um, I will investigate that and I will try to have that information in the listing. But anyway, that's what these are. These are a three in one. It, it was a four in one. It had a stylus on the end, but we had to take that off in order to convert it into a drill pin. And so what it is, is a three in one. It's a drill pin, it's a flashlight, and it's a phone stand. So I do only have two colors right now, but I do have other colors coming. Um, they were a little hard to find all the different colors. So it took me a while and I had to go to different places to get the different colors. So this is our newest pin in the store. I don't even know what I'm gonna call it yet. Now here's one that we used to have in the shop. It was very popular. In fact, we had just, I think, ran out not too long ago and Jim was like, I don't want to do them anymore. They're a pain. Um, but then he decided he wants to go ahead and do them again. So um, these are called the Crystal Butterfly, I think. <laughs> I'm really bad. They have these beautiful crystal decorations in the top the wings really pretty and they have different colors this one's the light purple with white polka dot this is the purple and um, these are the only colors we have right now I uh, like I said I do still have more on the way and it just depends on how much people are interested in them if I get more uh, and then we have royal blue that's the royal blue and then we have the sky blue with white center. And you may notice the 
it makes noise when you shake it. That's just your your gems in here moving around. And we also have a rose gold. Really pretty. And these are already in the shop, guys. Um, I will put a link down below so you can find them. And I'll link this one as well. And this one's the pink. And then we have the white with black spots. So these are the only the seven that we have right now of this pen. I just wanted to let you know we also got um, some pink tweezers. Unfortunately, they sent me the wrong ones. Uh, I asked for the straight ones and they sent the curved ones. So we have some curved pink tweezers that are the pointy kind. These are still good for um, doing squares. In fact, here, I'll show you. Here, I'll just bring this over here. So for doing square drill placing, you have to hold it like this in order to be able to grab them properly. So that's how you do it. And it takes practice to use tweezers sometimes. Um, especially the squares. I find it really um, difficult sometimes, but some people are able to sit there and pick up three, two and three and four at a time. I've never, I don't have the skills to do that. I try and I fail every time. I guess you just have to put the pressure on at the right place. I just can't do it. I can do one at a time when it comes to uh, doing the tweezers. And some people actually like the curve to it. So this will be the only time I will have the curved tweezers. Uh, unless people are actually wanting curved tweezers, then I will look into uh, stocking more of the colors in curved. But it just depends on how this one goes. But for now, yeah, we do have curved pink and I will also offer to have this put gemified. If you choose to have that done, I will do that for you. No extra charge. And lastly, for those that love those deer head pens, these are a little different version. Um, it is the deer head, but it has oil and glitter in it already. It does not have an empty chamber like the first one did. And these are all metal, except for the chamber. And it has, I've never had an, one with oil in it. It's always been water, but this is a really thick liquid. So I'm guessing it's oil. And so it's a slower moving glitter really pretty though and this one is the rose gold and then we have it in regular gold shiny shiny gold and then we have it in silver I don't know if I have more of this type coming I know I ordered several different um, deer head pins and I still have some on the way but I don't I don't remember this being one with oil in it, but I went back and looked and it was. So the others that I have coming, I it'll be a surprise whether they have the empty chamber or they have the decoration already in them. And these are actually already in the shop as well. So I will put a link to these for you as well. All right, so that's it so far for new stuff. And I already did the mail. And now I'm gonna pull out my diamond painting and I'm gonna start a new clip and I will start talking to you about some things going on in my life. Be back in one second. All right. So, as you all who watch me regularly know that I am not doing my live show and tell videos for now. Um, I used to do them Monday and Thursdays. It just got really stressful for me because um, it's it is quite stressful. My my whole thing that started at the pen shop was 
these videos that I do. I haven't done a drill with me in probably a year. I, when we started the shop, it started taking up more and more of my time. I was in here till, you know, three, four, five o'clock in the morning every night. I didn't take a day off and that was the only way I was able to get any kind of um, videos done, which is, you know, the part that I start, that started all this and the part that I was really part that I wanted to do. And I wasn't even diamond painting for a long time. I didn't have time because there was just so much. I still have so many packages that I have not opened from, from AliExpress, uh, in a box back there. I don't know if I'll ever be able to get to them. I would like to. Um, but I've been trying to find ways to free up my time so that I can do all the things for my channel that I want to do. And I, it just came to a boiling point on, um, a Monday, actually. I think it was this Monday. I don't remember. Yeah, this past Monday. Um, it feels like it's been a lot longer, but I've only not done my videos twice now and I I can tell you it it just feels so much less stress because being on a time frame it kind of sucks where I have to be up at a certain time I have to get so much done by a certain time I have to tell Teslin no not right now I'm busy you know and I don't like having to do that on the weekends I really enjoy being able to spend as much time with Tesla as I can. The little bit of time between when she gets home from school and her bedtime, I like to spend with her. And two days of the week, I am rushing around preparing to get this order done, get the orders done so I can show them. And, you know, I started cutting back by just showing the ones that people said they wanted to see, but that really didn't change the, the factor that was causing me the stress, really. The factor of, you know, having to prepare and post the, get the uh, video posted so that it could automatically, people could automatically be there when it started. All, you know, there was a lot that goes into those videos that people just don't realize. Um, so, yeah, I'm not saying that I'll never do them again. I'm just saying for now, I'm not. And, Definitely, there will not be any of those pack and chats before until if I do do them again, it won't be until after I come back from my vacation. And speaking of that, if you want to get your orders in, you need to do it by March 11th so that we can get them sent out for you before we leave for vacation. Um, we will be leaving on the 14th and we will be starting the shop accepting orders again for for the shop uh, i think the 26th i have it on the shop um announcements which is on the main page of the drill pin frenzy uh which brings me to another issue that has been very stressful for me uh i spoke with some other friends colleagues whatever you want to refer to them as that have Etsy shops because I was having some extremely difficult, um, well, I should say a, I had an extremely difficult customer and I went to her, this other Etsy owner to get her advice because I was in tears. I was so frustrated and I didn't know what to do. And it was, it, it, what it is, is when things get damaged in the mail, it's not because of something we did or didn't do. 95% um, of the time, it is the postal service. We are very um, diligent in packing our products for to avoid damage. We are still learning what will 
be best. I mean, sometimes we even improve on it and do it even more to try to help protect the, the products from the Postal Service playing dodgeball with them. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of as to why some of these packages get damaged or they run over them or they step on them or they stomp on them. I don't know, but some of these things, there's no way they should get broken, but they do. And we've always bubble wrapped. We use foam. We, you know, use padded mailers. You know, we go to great extents to try to make sure your package does not get damaged by the Postal Service. And when it does... Uh, you know, in the past, I've, you know, just felt bad. I, that I get it, you know, but being the small business that I am, I cannot keep paying for the postal services, you know, damage that they're doing to these packages. And I put this also in the announcements, um, a week or two ago, I can't remember when, and that I just, I cannot I can no longer replace items that were damaged, stolen, or lost in the mail. Um, there is a way you can make sure to protect yourself if that happens. Uh, they don't offer, Etsy unfortunately does not offer the option to add insurance to your package. However, you can upgrade your shipping to priority mail and sometimes it's only a dollar, maybe two dollars more, and that will ins give you fifty dollars free insurance. And that will ensure that if your product gets damaged, because I do not have any single product that is fifty dollars or more at all. So one of the um, the $50 insurance will cover for one or two of my most expensive items. And you can also, when you file your claim to get reimbursed by the postal service, you can also include in that claim, the postage you paid so that you can order it again. And it'll cover the cost of the item plus the cost of it to be shipped again. So that is the only thing that I, I have to suggest for making sure that your packages are covered in case the Postal Service has decided to, you know, play kickball with your package. It's just, I, that's the only thing I can think that they're doing, really, to damage some of this stuff. You know, if you're ordering something like, you know a row straightener, don't bother that you don't need to, it's cheaper just to rebuy the item than if it gets lost, than to, you know, pay the postal, the shipping for ex, the priority mail. It just depends on what you're ordering. If it's something that is non-breakable, like DMC stickers or wax covers, you don't need to, those don't need to be insured because they're really, they're not, something that could get, I mean, I'm going to say that they are something that can't be damaged and somebody's going to actually show me pictures of them being damaged by the postal service because I wouldn't put it past them to find a way to damage something that is ultimately undamageable. <laughs> it's, it's just been a frustration for me and we are sometimes it's, it just adds up. And, and then it's not something that we've done because we have packed things so well. And then each time somebody says, look what the postal service did, we try to improve on our end so that we can, you know, help offset the postal services inability to protect our packages because we put, we have been putting fragile on every single package ever since day one that I have sent out a pen. Every single one. Back when I first started, I was writing it on, handwriting it, and then I bought stencils to make it look fancier, and then I just started buying the stickers. Well, mm, yeah, it's, it's a very big frustration for me, and I hope, I hope you guys can understand that, you know, I, I just can't keep 
paying for the Postal Service's mistakes. And I'm really sorry about that. And I'm sorry about your situation. It just, I can't keep doing it. So on to some other things. Um, I don't know if you know or if you remember, but I started doing a uh, family family game night with my oldest daughter and my grandkids and her fiance. We would go over there one week and then the next week um, they would come over here. We Whoever's house it was at would, would um, host dinner and we would play games. And Braden and Teslin would play little kid games and we would play our adult games. I, I subscribe to this service called Hunt a Killer where you're playing detective and trying to figure out who done it. Well, it's not cheap. They're $40 for the subscription. It's $40 a month and you get an episode each. Box is an episode. You don't find out right away the answer to who, who, who did it. I don't know how many boxes it takes to get to that point, but the goal of each subscription is you are able to eliminate a suspect. Well, we got through our first box and we started on the second box um, a week ago on Saturday and we were over at my daughter's house and, um, you know, sometimes not everybody wants to play, but the significant other insists because that's what we do. We are very uh, family oriented. We do family fun night. It's supposed to be a fun thing and it's once a week and sometimes we do skip a week. Um, but you know, for the most part, it's like, you know, just grin and bear it, have fun and let's play. Well, apparently somebody was not really in the mood for playing and tempers flew for something very, that was a very it was a misunderstanding and ultimately I was kicked out of her house and it hurt. It did. It hurt a lot to be kicked out because it's not the first time and it was really unnecessary. It's, it was really unnecessary. And so I was not very, I was really upset it, for quite a few days. It still upsets me thinking about it, but that was partly part of my thing going into Monday and needing to do my live. I really, really could not get my head in the right place. I was too, I, you know, it's really hard for me to get depressed because I am on antidepressants. And it's really hard for me to cry, but I, I did both. I was, I was crying and I, um, I was just bummed. I wasn't really depressed, but I was really bummed. And, and then there were some customers that I had to take care of that were not very nice. And... I always check my messages first thing when I get up and I, I take care of questions and stuff like that. And yes, yeah, sometimes I don't get up until four o'clock in the evening, but you know, that's my prerogative. That's my life. And I don't like it, but because my CPAP hasn't been working and I don't have insurance, which that's my next thing I wanted to talk to you about or tell you about, um, my sleeping is not regular and it's not restful and it's, I snore really bad because of it, because I don't have my CPAP and I, yeah. So that on top of, um, let's see, I think it was Monday. No, it was it had to have been Friday. So yeah, the day before all this had ha happened at my daughter's house, I, Jim had dropped my car off because, okay, 
backtrack a little bit more. Because we're going on this trip, um, the GPS in my van has not been updated since I bought it. And we get this thing every so often saying it needs to be updated. And we know it does because there are some streets we go down that aren't even on that map anymore. Because, you know, it's only a 2013, but, you know, roads change all the time. And so we decided Jim wanted to really use the car GPS instead of relying on my phone the whole trip. Because that way we just know how far it is. And it's nice to have a GPS even when you know where you're going but because it helps to, you know, tell us how long we have left or which rest area is close, coming up close because we've driven this route so many times. We basically know where the rest areas are. Plus I have an app for that. But anyway, so that I didn't have to use my phone for the GPS, he, you know, paid this exorbitant amount for the update for the GPS in the van. And, you know, it's made by Garmin, which is a really well-known company for making GPS systems and we got the update because they have to send it to you they mail it to you and Jim was trying to get it to work and he did everything that it said you were supposed to do he even called them because it wasn't working and this and that and I guess they told him that there's something wrong with it I either that or he just decided okay Oh, he had to take it in because it kept shutting off. So it was like, okay, we're going to take it into the shop. Now I have an unlimited or a lifetime warranty on my van. I pay, I chose to purchase when I purchased the van back in 2014. Yeah, I got it in 2014. Uh, well, no, let's see. No, I got it in 2015 because I have one year left one year and like two months left to pay on it and it's paid off and I had a six year loan. So I've had it almost five years, but, um, what was I saying? <laughs> it's not that old. And okay. So yeah, getting this warranty, we haven't really had to do anything that I can remember with the warranty yet. Um, there is a hundred dollar deductible and they cover the rest and, Thank goodness this is under this is under warranty, part of the warranty. And um anyway, we went to pick the car the, the van up because they have to order it. And we were gonna meet for dinner. So I haven't driven in a while. I don't I just don't drive because of my medication and this and other things. My the pain sometimes it's hard for me to drive. Well, I had to drive because there was nobody else available to go and pick it up. So he left and he actually, uh, he, he's quick. You know, when I go to leave, I, you know, I buckle up, I make sure Tesla's secured. I, you know, just make every, make sure everything is the right place. Get the movie in for a Tesla that's appropriate, that she wants and this and that. And I pull out and I get over to the exit and I'm waiting and waiting. And it was like really busy. It was really hard. I couldn't even get out. I was turning right. And you'd think to turn right, you could get out. But no, people were not being courteous and let me in. They were stopped right in front of me. So I look in my rearview mirror and I don't see anyone. So I'm going to back up and go to the other exit that they have that's on the side street. So I can get to a light and get out that way. Well, like I said, I look in my mirror, no one was there. And then next thing I know, I'm reversing and I hear a honk and then I hear a crunch. Oh my gosh. So I bumped, I bumped a Mercedes. Um, <laughs> I knocked off her license plate and the covering to it. I apparently cracked the bumper. And here I am trying to get into a parking spot. She was just sat right there and I'm at the exit. It's like, I need to get out. I'm like, can you please back up? So it's like, so we can exchange information. It's like, she wanted to make sure I didn't go anywhere by blocking me. It's like, 
just, I don't want to sit here at the exit. It's going to block people and it's going to cause issues. So I had to basically back up and try to go make a, a 180 in this really small area so that I could get into a parking spot. I was so embarrassed. I was flustered and I ran over the curb and oh my gosh, Tesla was with me. She was freaking out because last time we got into an accident, it wasn't, it was all, it was in a parking lot as well, but, um, it was not my fault. I was, I was side hit in my front left a tire wheel, which it actually ended up cracking my axle and it was the other person's fault, but it crunched my car. Oh my gosh. And it's not been the same since then. And I'm thinking, Oh man, great. But my van, not a thing was wrong with it. We got out. Tesla insisted on coming out. She was freaking out. Didn't want to be left in the car alone while I got out to exchange information. First thing she does when she sees it, there's, you know, mud splattered up from the back tire onto the rear wheel. Um, the back of the car, actually the outside of where the rim is of the tire. And she says, yep. <laughs> she thought that was damage. It was just mud. <laughs> She was so cute. She was thinking, you know, she was discovering the issues with the car, but it was, it was a really quick exchange. She took my information and I got hers just in case, you know, it wasn't considered my fault, but yeah, they said it, you know, it was going to be my fault, but I have full coverage. <clears throat> it was all, all good. Hopefully my insurance won't go up because I've never had a ticket. I've never had an accident. That was my fault and yeah I have accident free all my life and then a fender bender stupid 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 I didn't want to drive <laughs> I told Jim I at first I told Jim I said why don't we just leave your car here and we'll go to dinner in the van we'll go together he was like oh no we'll just no we have to back we don't want to backtrack to get the car I'm like okay <laughs> I called him as soon as I was done getting exchanging information. I'm like, I told you, you should have drove. He was sitting in the parking lot there waiting for me. <laughs> but anyway, that, that happened. And let's see. Um, right. So I was telling you about my, my medical insurance. Well, I, I called since I'm on disability, I called, I have to get my insurance through Medicare and I called Medicare and went through the whole rigmarole with the phone system and come to find out I need to contact social security. So I have to wait until Monday cause they don't have a 24 hour online place to get a hold of somebody like Medicare did. And I call, I finally get through to him, which it, uh, took an hour and 15 minutes for them to call me back. Cause that's how far it, how long it takes to get through. And they told me I had to come into the office or fill out the apple, the, this form and drop it off. The only thing that's going to be available to me because it's open enrollment period for certain criteria reasons but because I didn't pick it up right away after my husband lost his job and we lost his insurance through him, I may get charged a penalty of 10% for each year that we did not, I did not have insurance when I, sh when I had it available to me. So that's basically one full year because it's, it just hit a year in November that I haven't had it. But even if I do get the penalty, the soonest I'm going to be able to get my Medicare is in July because you need to uh, enroll before March 31st for the period of July 1st, 2020 through whenever. So I cannot get my CPAP fixed or replaced through insurance until July and we can't wait that long. So we're going to have to pay out of pocket to try to get me back on my CPAP. And that's one of my most important things I have to do tomorrow is contact 
a place to have my CPAP looked at, see how much it's going to cost. I don't know if I need to go through my doctor's office or what to be able to get it um, fixed. I don't know. I don't know how much it's going to cost me, but we only have like, I think we have $600 still left on the health savings account from when he did have his job. So that's what that's going to go towards. Not going to go towards my root canal like I thought. You have to set priorities, I guess. Um, it really bothers Tesla when I snore. So if we're going to be in this um, hotel room, all of us sharing a room, then I definitely need to get that taken care of. Plus, I want to be able to get full night's sleep so that I can enjoy myself while we're on vacation and not just be tired all the time. Because honestly, right now, I just want a staycation. I want two weeks to just sleep whenever I want, get up whenever I want, do whatever I want when I'm up, and not have to put a bra on just to go to an amusement park. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, I know you know what I mean. Sometimes you just want a vacation from life, adulting, and, you know, going on vacation sometimes aren't very relaxing. I'm going to start a new clip here. One second. So that's what I've been dealing with with Medicare. Uh, I don't, I'm, you know, just have to do what I got to do. Even though it's going to cost an arm and a leg, I'm sure we're going to have to do it. Um, the last thing I have written down here to talk about is <clears throat> my sweet, sweet Teslin. Lately, I don't know what is going on with her, but she has had an extreme attitude. She's seven, for crying out loud. I remember Ayla turning into a bit of a brat at that time of her life. But she had a little sister uh, to antagonize and to tease and whatnot. Teslin, with her ADHD, it's gotten so bad She's always getting in trouble. She's not listening. She's laughing at us, running away, telling us she's going to do what she wants to do. And and we're always having to punish her. And, you know, I'm about to the point where, you know, I'm going to tell her she can't go to Disneyland. But, you know, Jim wants to go to Disneyland more than any of us combined. And it would be punishing him more than anything. But, you know, like I said, I could care less if we go to Disneyland. I, I just want to, I just want to do nothing for a couple weeks. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And I'm sure if I had a staycation for two weeks, I would be coming back with refreshed mind and vigor. Problem is with a staycation, I would end up working. I would. I would still end up doing videos. I would end up, I mean, if we had the shop closed for two weeks, you know, we wouldn't have the shop stuff to do, but I would still have videos because I love doing my videos. And like I had said, that was my whole passion for starting all this was the videos and helping people and showing new tips and unboxing stuff that people weren't sure of. And, you know, I love doing that. And once the shop overtook things, you know, I couldn't do it so much. And that was what was reminding what I remember now what I was going to say is I'm having Jim do something. He's going to start taking on one of the responsibilities that I do. Um, that isn't something that I feel I have to do. I'm letting him do it because it's something I know he can do and he can ask me questions if he needs to. But the one thing he can't do is um, keep the shop updated um, with listings, with descriptions, with um, customer questions, um, that kind of stuff. C uh, customer relations is my department. It's not something he could do. He may eventually be able to do the listings and stuff, but I have a feeling I will be doing customer service as long as we have this store, the shop. He's just not meant to have um, that responsibility. It's just not him. 
even though he's, you know, been in retail and he's been managers and whatnot. I just don't think that's his cup of tea. So, that's what's going on in my life. And now for the special announcement. I am having a giveaway. I will have two winners. And I'm sorry, but this time it will be U.S. only because I will be shipping them out myself. And you better believe I will be very radical in making sure you are the person that is drawn. There have been too many trolls out there being mean and trying to take prizes that aren't theirs. And I have had that happen to me once, but I was able to catch it before anything was sent out. And I know what to look for. And so don't try. If you aren't the one who won and you're trying to just get something free and you don't even know what diamond painting is, don't bother. It, you're not going, you're not going to, um, you're not going to pull one over on me because I know what to do to make sure you are who you are, right? So just warning you now, it's not worth trying. So, um, these two packages that I will be sending out will be done they will be sent out before i leave for my trip because i don't want you to have to wait two weeks for me to come back to get your prize so this this um giveaway will run one week which um like i said this will be posted monday morning and the drawing will last through from Monday through Sunday. So Sunday is the last day that you can enter. Um, you, what you need to do is you need to answer my question down below. And if you don't answer the question, you will not be entered. You will not, your it will not be counted as an entry unless you answer the question and you have to have the exact thing put into your comment that I am requesting you to put. So my question is, what is your favorite place to vacation? Um, whether it be, you know, Disneyland or the zoo, parks, um, skiing. You like to go to a volcano, whatever it is. Wherever your favorite place to vacation is, let me know down below. Whether you can afford to or not, it still can be your favorite. You need to answer that question if you don't have a favorite, tell me one that you would like to try or you'd like to go to, but you do need to have some kind of a vacation spot in your answer. And you need to put an emoji of the weather that would be there during the time of your vacation. So like if you go in the springtime, put some rain or some clouds or umbrella, something like that. Uh, if you like to go skiing, you know, put some, a person with wearing ski gear or put your, put snow, Christmas tree, something like that. And you know, sunny California, Florida, those kinds of places. You can put a sun, you can put Disney ears, you know, just something to indicate that you watch the video and you answered, uh, and you know what I'm asking you for. If you cannot figure out how to do emojis, please, um, put something in parentheses as to what the emoji would be. Emoji is E-M-O-J-I. So if you put parenthesis, uh, snowman, write the word snowman emoji parenthesis. That will work for me. Um, I like to see the emojis, so if you do know how to do them, please use them. If you don't, then you're more than welcome to do what I suggested so that you can at least be entered into the drawing. And like I said, it will be two, two winners. Um, if you are outside of the United States and you still want to tell me what your favorite place is to vacation, you're more than welcome to tell me. I'd love to hear it. 
just please make sure you tell me you are not in the United States so that if your name gets drawn, I can draw somebody else. Um, I do a lot of drawings and at least 75% of the time my drawings are available worldwide. Uh, this one is not just because I have to pay the shipping to ship these out and most of the time uh, what I'm the postage is cost me more than what's in the package and I don't mind doing that but when it comes to something of that weight going overseas that costs a lot of money we're talking my daughter sent a package over to her boy when she was dating a guy in the UK it cost a hundred dollars to send this box it's a care, uh, care package so that's just to give you an idea of how much it costs to send overseas so I hope you can understand that is where I'm coming from I have specific diamond paintings that I are I am giving away and I will talk to the when the winners get drawn I do request that you send me a message to Diamond Painting by Donnie. That's what you would write the name as when you were putting the name in Messenger. You need to contact me on Facebook on an account that matches the name on YouTube. And, it, and if this account that you're messaging me from was recently created, you, I will not even answer you I because I will look to see how long this account has been open, how many friends you have, and if there's any red flags, trust me, I will find another way to verify that it's you because I do understand there are some people that just don't use Facebook, but most people do. And if you are the winner and you were the right, well, per, rightful person, you won't mind messaging me um, from that account to prove that you are who you are so that I don't give your gift your prize to somebody else you wouldn't want that would you so this is for your security because if I send it out to somebody else I can't send it out to you because it's not it's not money it's an actual it's actual items that I will be putting in a box with my own hands and sending to you so if it goes, it goes and it's gone. But I will give um, 48 hours after I do the drawing for the person to claim, the two people to claim their prize. And I highly suggest you contact me right away. I highly suggest also that you make sure you watch the, the video where I do the drawing because I've had it where people enter and then they don't check back and they lost their prize because they never claimed it and I still to this day have not heard from a couple of different people that won something and they never claimed it <laughs> so that just you know I don't understand why people enter drawings and then they don't check back to see if they won you know maybe because they feel like they'll never win but he, he, people do win and I ask that if you have already won one of my giveaways, which I, I know I've had quite a few, that you um, put that also in your answer because I would like to give other people a chance to win. Uh, so if you have one, you can, I would still love to hear your answer, but um, just, just know that you will not be eligible for the drawing because of the fact that, you know, there are so many people out there who've been not who's never won one of my drawings and then there's some people out there that have and they they've won other places too so i just want to spread the love and make sure everybody has that opportunity and yeah that's about it let me know let me know the answer to my question if you missed the question you might want to rewind and go back and Watch the part that you fast forwarded over <laughs> or you missed because the kids were yelling. But yeah, please be sure to 
follow all directions because if the answer is if your answer is not um, included what I asked for it to be then I will have to not I will have to draw somebody else if you do get drawn you do need to have the answer and and then you need to contact me in the way that I asked you to contact me and hopefully everything will go smooth I don't like having to be this strict but because they're the internet is a breeding ground for trolls you know and I know it's happened to a couple of other lovely diamond painting channels and I just I would hate for it to happen again like I said somebody did try that with me but I caught it first so that's it for this video. I know it's over an hour long or it's close to an hour and I haven't done one of these in so long. I am surprised I had enough to talk about for all this time. But thank you very much everyone for watching. I do appreciate it and I wanted to give another big shout out to all my moderators that have been with me the entire time that I was doing my lives and especially to Ashley for being there from the beginning, being there for every single one of my videos, except for maybe one. I don't remember. I think, I don't even think she's missed one. No, she missed one because she was traveling. Other than that, she has been a rock star. Thank you, Ashley. I appreciate it so much. And, um, we were going to be meeting up meeting up when I go to California, but that's not going to happen now. Um, but we do have something else scheduled for, the, uh, after summer's over. So I guess I have to wait a little longer to meet my Ashley, but I do appreciate every one of you for watching, for subscribing, for commenting, for liking, for having my back, for being there and just being my friend and my diamond painting family. I appreciate every one of you. And I look forward to talking to you guys in my next video. Thank you again for watching. Have fun diamond painting. And don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Take care, everyone. Bye.